there, we're going to talk a little bit about the states of matter today. So you might remember doing some of these experiments at school that we're going to talk about. So there are three states of matter, three basic states that we're talking about today. We have solids, liquids, and gases. So when we talk about solids, my table is solid, right? If you remember when we did our experiments at school, we were not able to change the shape of our rock. We needed to use a hammer to smash that tile because solids can only be changed with pressure. We can change their shape with pressure. Those particles are holding on really tight to each other. and We have to work to get them to separate. And even when we did separate the tile, the little pieces that came off were still solid. Um, solids have a fixed shape, we know that, um, and it takes pressure to change them. So liquids, when we experimented with liquids, we poured colored water into different shape bottles. We poured water onto the counter and it just spread. It didn't stay in any one place. It had no shape of its own. And it just took the shape of the container that it was in. And that was the rule given to the um, particles of a liquid that they would flow over the earth and they would fill the hollows and the crevices and that formed our oceans and um, our rivers and things like that. Uh, gases were the other um, state of matter that we investigated and we found that when we sprayed like a perfume or air freshener at one side of the classroom, we raised our hand, those particles spread very quickly. We know if someone's baking in our building, we're all like, what's that? Mm, I smell somebody's cooking. Mm -hmm. And we can tell somebody's cooking even if it's in another classroom because the gas particles really are very free. They can just whirl and go all over anywhere they like, right? They're free to move anywhere. They have no fixed shape. They have no fixed size. So liquids, if I have this much liquid, even if I pour it in a bottle, it's still going to be the same amount. A solid, it's always going to be the same amount. Even if I break it in pieces, I still have the same amount altogether. But gases, can expand, they can take up more space. So today, I'm going to put this little sorting card down and I'm gonna ask you to help me sort these cards. So this one says, soda bubbles. Hmm, solid, liquid or gas, soda bubbles. What do you think? Gas, let's put it there. Juice, hmm, can juice flow? Does it take the shape of your cup? It does, so it's a liquid. A pencil, does your pencil have a shape? It does, it's a solid. And we know pencils break sometimes when we put too much pressure on them, right? What about ice? Hmm, yes, ice takes the shape of um, the container it's in, but it's solid. When we take it out of, their, out of the ice tray, it still keeps its shape. So ice is a solid. When it melts, is it a solid? What about when we heat it? Think about it. What about a brick? Yes, a brick is a solid. What about this one? Odor, odor is like a smell, like a perfume, sometimes a cooking smell, sometimes not such a nice smell, an odor. That is a gas because it spreads so easily. It does not have a fixed shape or volume. And a chair. Yes, that is a solid. What about? Cooking oil. Cooking oil takes the shape of the bottle it's in. And if I spilled it, it would flow and make a mess, right? It's a liquid. How about scissors? 
Yes, they have a shape of their own and it's very hard to bend scissors. What about water? That's right, water is a liquid. When ice melts, we get water. What about helium? I'm sure you've seen those balloons that are filled with helium. Helium is a gas. It can float away anywhere it likes. Air, what about air? That's right, air is also a gas. What about gasoline that you would put in your car? It comes out of the tank, it has to be pumped into your car. It is a liquid. It takes the shape of your gas tank. How about milk? That's right, milk can be in a gallon shape or a quart shape. It could be the shape of a cup or a bottle. Milk has no shape of its own. We can pour it. It is a liquid. And our last one is water vapor. And we have done work on the water cycle. So we know water vapor is a gas. Now I wanted to talk to you about one set in here that's special. You might have figured it out already. We have ice, which is water in its solid form. We have water, which is water in its regular liquid form, the way we see it most of the time. And we have water vapor, which is water in the state of a gas. Did you know that water is the only thing we have on Earth that can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas at the same time? That's pretty interesting. Do you also know that anything can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas? It all depends on its temperature. So think about that. If I said, can a rock be melted? Hmm. I probably wouldn't be able to melt a rock, but don't forget what is magma and lava if not melted rock. Anything can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. What it is at any given time depends on the temperature. Water is the only thing that exists in all three forms on our earth. I hope you enjoyed that lesson and I hope that you can think of some other things to add to these lists. Thank you.